Hello. How was everyone's weekend so far? I hopped straight into the game because I'm organizing my chest a little bit. Kind of wish I had the bigger chest recipe already. But I got the chill music right away. So nice. But yeah, I'm just trying to figure out my chest situation. Um, I have a lot of stuff. Probably should sell some of this stuff. But So I made a... Uh, crops, fishing, forageables, monster loot, resources, tools. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out where to put certain things. Like, I don't think I want to keep my flowers in the crops stuff. So, might move those to here and then let's move oh i probably should make another chest for artifacts uh but for now i'm just going to kind of organize all of this a bit and then i was thinking i think we can make a what's it called a smoker for the fish so that'd be cool. But let's go ahead and get all of this figured out. Oh, I have clothes in here. And then might leave the rest in here for now. Oops. In monster loot. I want to keep my torches in there too for now. Some of this I can move as well. Hmm. All right. Let's. Hello. You caught me organizing my chests. I won't take too much longer, I think. I was trying to do some of this before the stream because it's kind of boring stuff, right? But... I don't think I got too much longer organizing them. How was your guys' weekend? Or weekend so far, I should say. We still got another whole day ahead of us. Uh, let's move... Move these in there. Move these in here. And then... Probably need another fishing bin at some point, but... I think that's probably good for now. Let's get our... Basics back, and then I'm gonna drop this shirt into here. Actually, what does it look like on? That's kind of cute. Blue, copper. Stick with the blue for now. So, it's Maro's birthday. I don't have any strawberries, unfortunately, but we'll have to get her something she likes. I believe she likes cauliflower, if I recall. Loves it, I mean. Where did she go? There she is. Yeah, she loves cauliflower, so we're good to go there. I've started to listen to Daft Punk's Instant Crush again, like I used to before and you started a college- Oh, you start college again tomorrow. That's exciting. Let me pop out chat. The little heart thingies in the way. Um, but hey, two months and I'll be done with this long semester. Yeah, college can be a bit rough. 
but it's exciting to be starting uh, college again. And then, yeah, I haven't listened to Daft Punk in a while. It's been a hot minute. Do they make new stuff still? Or is it just everything that's still gold from the past? I do occasionally listen to the Tron soundtrack, which they helped with. Got a new washer, dryer, and fridge this weekend. Nice. Hopefully it wasn't too difficult to move around. I know sometimes with those you need assistance. All right, so we'll grab a cauliflower after we gather all the summer squash. Uh, got a pepper over here. Another pepper and a sunflower. I think I have some mixed seeds. We can plant those. And let's go ahead and just plant another sunflower. I don't think I have any other mixed seeds on me, so we'll just keep that for now. And get starting on the watering. Couldn't tell if there was double music there for a second. I cannot wait <laughs> for some quality sprinklers, so I think I have one more farming level before I get those. And it still isn't going to rain anytime soon, so uh, no good chance to upgrade our watering can. But it is finally a nice day by me. It, it's going to feel like summer today, and I am so excited. Going to do some grilling with the neighbors, who are good friends of ours. And, yeah, just going to try to enjoy the outside as much as we can. But I'm hoping the weather will eventually consistently stay like this, because that would be super nice. Let's go pet the chickens. Where is the third one? Oh, they're asleep. Oh, they're finally producing eggs, though. That's nice. Let's drop those off in here. Grab the mayo. And then, oh yeah, I wanted to make a smoker for the fish if I can. I've been good. Um. I've been really busy with work. There's a lot of things happening at my work, um, but I'm hopeful things will settle down and be good. But I got a small vacation coming here soon, just a weekend one, but I'm excited to kind of just get away for a little bit and uh, get the all work behind me, if that makes sense, and then come back with a fresh mind because I find that always helps. All right, let's see. What did I need for that smoker? Uh, not bait maker. Oh, do I not have the smoker yet? No. I could make a mushroom. Oh, I don't have hardwood. Sprinkler. Bait maker. I don't think I want to be after a particular fish quite yet. But I should see what fish I need for the community center. Preserve jar. That would be good. Um... Yeah, let's make a preserve jar. So wood, stone, and coal. Where did I put my coal? Oh, it's probably all in the furnace. So let's grab that. And then wood. I got all my stuff scattered. Where did my stone go? There it is. make a two preserve jar maybe i don't want to use all my wood eh, actually no let's go ahead and make three we can always chop down more trees so let's drop that back off that back off 
And then where was I putting my flowers? I think in here. And then we'll see what to sell in a moment. Mental break, yeah. This is exactly what I need. Yeah, I just got the smoker in my game, buying it off Willy. Oh, maybe that's where I need to look. The first request from the raccoons that I got is smoked bream and 10 mussels. Nice. I'm looking forward to the smoker because uh, there was a Twitter post where someone did the math and if you have the perk that sells more uh, fish for higher gold and you have the artisan, they stack. So that was an interesting Twitter post. I was like, oh, that's a good way to make money. All right, let's finish watering the crops. And then we'll go see Maru and then figure out what we want to do with the rest of the day from there. I do need to make some money because pretty much all of our goals right now require <laughs> quite a bit of money. And I've always been bad at making money in Stardew Valley. <laughs> Dear Yoria, tomorrow we're all gathering at the beach for an annual Pelican Town Luau. The highlight of the event is to the communal potluck. Make sure to bring something good to contribute. The governor himself is attending the event. So make sure you, you're on your best behavior. Come to the beach sometime between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. I think I have some good quality fish. I have one iridium call, uh, quality red bullet. Maybe that's what I'll, what I'll throw in. Also got the mastery cave at last. Nice. Oh, what music is playing right now? Uh, Journey to the Far Lands, and it's from Harris Heller uh, Stream Beats on their ambient music soundtrack. This is the one I usually have playing when the Stardew uh, music isn't going. Uh, because you give people the best valued crops, you have... You can't make good money. Yeah! That's true. Maybe I should give people regular quality stuff. And just sell for now. I just... I don't know. Like, if I was... In real life, when I... Grow stuff, I, I'm like... Take the best one. I will use the leftovers. I haven't actually started any seeds this season. I was into like hydroponics last year with the intention of planting them in the ground, but then never did. And I was going to maybe do the same thing this year, but then actually plant them in the ground. But hydroponics is really cool. All right, let's see. We need a cauliflower for Maru. Let's give her a gold one. I, I like how I just said I would give them regular. But it's her birthday, so she deserves a good one. And then, what do we want to do? It's a normal day. So maybe let's figure out what fish I need. And we can go fishing. So let me pull up my notion notes. And figure out... I need to do sturgeon, tuna, red snapper, tilapia. I don't know if I have all any of those already. Uh, tilapia's in the summer. It doesn't look like I have any. And then red snapper doesn't look like it. Tuna? I do have a tuna. And then sturgeon. I uh, don't see a sturgeon. So, yeah, I have quite a few more to go. So it looks like we need to go to the mountain lake in the ocean. Um, And then does it need to be raining for any of these? The red snapper is only when it's raining. So we'll have to keep that in mind. Should be good for everything else, though. Do that year, too, when you're financially stable enough to give them crops. Yeah, that, that's the better move. So, yeah, I think what we'll do is fish today. So let's go ahead and just grab our fishing pole. And then... Let's maybe sell some spring onions and horseradish. 
these in the shipping bin for now. And then what else do I have? What am I, what crops am I swimming in? Uh, I do want to keep the parsnip because I know people love that parsnip. And no one loves radishes, so we'll sell these. And then Lewis and Shane love hot peppers. Uh, I am going to get a lot more hot peppers, though, so I'll sell these. I think that's all I want to sell for right now. So, got a gift for Maru. Got some mayo to bring to the townspeople. And I think we're good to go. You will never guess what skill I postponed getting to level 10 until year 4. Uh, I don't know what skill. Because, like, most of them by year 4, I, I think you'd be good at. Combat? Is it combat? Where is my skills, anyway? Social skills. There we go. Foraging. Maybe it's foraging. I, I struggle bus with the foraging one a little. Oh, there's a forageable over here. Oh, actually, what forageables have I put into the community center? Let's just make a trip to the community center. I don't think I have a lot of stuff checked off. So let's see, I need... Oh, we got double music, let me... I need grapes. Uh, sweet berry. I need sweet pea. Which hopefully is in the other chest I have in town. I need 500 sap, but we'll do that later. I don't have a fiddlehead fern. Fishing, I need white algae. Hops. Do I? Am I growing hops? Oh, yeah. They're just not grown yet. And then... Crops. Tomato. Am I growing tomatoes? Can't tell if I'm growing tomatoes or not. Oh, no, there's a tomato there. So we should be good eventually for that one. Blueberry. I don't think I have a blueberry. I don't know if that's a year two thing. Oh, it shouldn't be a year two thing. Uh, melon and summer squash. Hot pepper. I need five gold hot peppers. I should have more stuff than this. Oh wait, I was keeping the quality hot peppers. My bad. Good thing I didn't actually sell those yet. I need one more. And then corn. I don't know. I might double check my crops because I don't think I'm growing any blueberries. Hot pepper. Summer squash. Melons are right here. Weird. Okay, let's go to Pierce. Fishing. I refuse to do any fishing. Yeah, that's understandable. Um. Yeah, let's go to the community center. Oh, I have enough hot peppers for the quality, actually. I'm gonna go back. Sorry, guys. Keep going back and forth. I'm wasting a little time here, but I kind of want to see where I'm at with the community center. Alright, so let's grab these. We'll worry about the tuna later. I left that behind, but that's okay. And we'll worry about gifts here in a bit. Here we go. That was one of the things I needed. And then we'll have to hunt down Maru right after this, too. So, hot peppers. Artisan. Summer. 
Don't have any tomatoes, blueberries, melons, but I do have a summer squash. And then... Bam. There's that one. We never did get the cauliflower, but we'll get it in spring next year. And then let's go down here and drop off some forageables. Grapes, spice berry, sweet pea. Nice. Okay. Oh, and then we unlocked probably the bank room. Oh, no, the bulletin board. Okay. I might check that out too. Ironically enough, combat is my way of uh, obtaining excess experience, which is what I need, followed by foraging. Yeah, I, uh, I'm bad at the XP farming. Spirits Eve. We need lots of corn. So I might buy corn and blueberries. Oh no, I've used a lot of my salmon berries. Um, that's fine. <laughs> spring, we're not finishing anything till spring anyway at this point, so. God, uh, so much, so much salmon berries <laughs> that I needed. I will have to keep that in mind to not uh, use them so much next time. What needed the white algae? I have it down as something I needed. Oh, I wonder if it was the fishing tank. How far have you been into the island? Not very far. Um, I had one playthrough, really, with it, and I didn't get far. <laughs> That's something I, I want this playthrough. I want to go a lot further. I wrote down that I needed white algae for something, but I don't see it, so we're just going to drop it off here. Maybe I'll figure it out at some other point. And then let's give Maru the cauliflower. So where's she at? She is at home, it looks like. Demetrius is over here, though. Let's give him some mayo. Thank you. This is an interesting specimen. You're probably growing a lot of interesting plants on your farm, huh? Maybe I'll stop by your place someday and check it out. It's not that far. Okay, I was asking to keep spoilers in mind. Yeah, like deep into the island, I don't know too much. I mean, I know about Mr. Lake Key and things like that. All right, let's give you a cauliflower. Hey, what's this? A birthday gift? It's great. Thank you for remembering me. Are you enjoying the season? It's been so warm this year. Cool. Uh, let's leave this here. Oh, I never put my preserve jars down. Whoops. That's fine. I needed to see Pierre today. I don't know if I'll get to him before he closes. Whoops. I think he closes at three. Maybe it's later. Be rough. Oh, it's close on Wednesday. I forgot. I forgot. It is related to Mr. Key, but it's a little too spoily. Okay, yeah, then I'll, I'll figure it out eventually. Five, I believe. Good to know for when it's not Wednesday. <laughs> um. Okay, so we did need something at the lake. For fishing. What was it? It was a sturgeon. So let's fish until we get a sturgeon here. And then let's uh give our main man something. Uh I guess I'm not gonna give him grapes. Uh you like winter roots? 
Yeah, you do. Oh, never mind. Let's see. Oh, yep. I see the sturgeon in the water. Oh, the map tells you when the store closes? I always forget about that. I always just look for people on the map. Whoops. Too late. Uh... Yep, you're right. Jojo Mart. <laughs> I actually still... I haven't even bought anything from Jojo Mart. It, it's ironic because I think I bought sunflower seeds from Pierre and that's like the one thing you should buy from Jojo Mart. We don't support Jojo here. Not in this playthrough anyway. Whoops. Ooh. Jumpy fish. Got the sturgeon. Do I want to keep going? I'll, tr I'll, I'll uh, fish here a little longer. Because I haven't really fished at the lake in the summer so far yet. In this house, we don't support corporate capitalism, only farmer capitalism. Exactly. All the carp. But I got some more iridium, so I could give some carp to tomorrow's luau. Jumpy fish. This is gonna be another sturgeon, probably. Assuming I can catch it. Oop. Yep. just finish the day at the lake because we can uh, prioritize the rest are ocean fish I think I need for the community center so ooh rainbow trout whenever I get an easy fish I'd instinctively say stupid piece of carp <laughs> it just heals less XP than I want yeah oh I need to make a recycle thing with all this trash that I'm getting. When we get back to the farm, I'll put the preserve jars down and uh, maybe make a recycle bin if I have enough material. I might need to chop some wood though. I wonder what level you need to be for the smoker, for the fish. Oh, chest. Go a little higher and then I'll get it. There we go. Oh. Nice, another rainbow trout. Oh, what is this? Deluxe bait. Uh, even faster and increases the size of the fishing bar. Nice. I don't remember Deluxe Bait. Uh, just wanted to say thanks. I managed to get into Stardew after years of trying due to your modding recommendations. Oh, I'm glad. I absolutely love modding Stardew Valley. It just adds so much content to the game. And we have a small community here who absolutely rock at giving mod recommendations. So if you're looking for even more recommendations, obviously I spotlight them, uh, but our Discord has a lot of recommendations on it as well. By the way, you can left shift in F1 to look up anything by searching it. 
I have look up anything, and I think you can just push uh, uh, F1 for that. You buy smoker recipe from Willy for 10k. Ooh. That might be worth prioritizing, though, because that would be a good way to make a lot of money with fishing. Which is what we're struggling with right now, is the money. <laughs> Oh, look up anything has a search function. <gasps> That's cool. What do I want to look up? <laughs> uh, smoker. Oh. You need a cave jelly. A river jelly, a sea jelly. I have a river jelly. I don't think I have a sea yet or a cave. Um... So we'll have to look out for the jellies then, too. So we may we may not buy it until we have all these jellies. Thank you for telling me that. I had no idea. Ooh, another chest. Oh, an ancient seed. I gotta give to the museum, though. I was shocked, too, when I found out about it. Yeah, I... I don't even think I remember reading about that when I first downloaded the mod <laughs> ages ago. Not a problem at all? Yeah, I really appreciate these tips, because... Some things just, like, fly under the radar for me. Oh, we got Sebastian in the corner. Maybe I have something he likes on me. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw him because my model's in the way. Another, another, uh, no, 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 don't get it yet. There we go. Uh, all these treasure chests. Chub row. All right, let's see. Do I have anything on me that you like? You're too far down. Oh yeah, you like frozen tears. I don't think I have any on me though for that. Do you like mayo? No. What do you like? Carrot, flounder, jade, maple syrup, parsnip. I don't think I have anything. Do you like cave carrots? No. I don't like I have anything I like that he uh, wants on me. Okay, let's fish a little longer. I found out about it from none other than Generic Mod Config. You can change the control binding for the search tab. Yeah, Generic Mod Config menu is so nice because... Uh, it's definitely a good way to know exactly what the mod does if they've made a lot of configurations for it. We'll go like one more fish. Or just this fish because I don't want to get exhausted. Wow, bullhead. I don't think I even had that fish yet. All right, let's head back. Morrow's gazing at the stars. Oh, grape. Tempted to make another ring, because I wonder if that would increase our glow. Glowstone ring. Um, I have enough iron bars for sure. I don't know if I have enough solar essences. Oh, I do. I just wonder if it multiplies it. I think it does. 
can always sell it if I stop using it. I was debating on making it because I didn't know if it would be a waste. But I think, I think it might be worth it. All right, and then let's get that going. Oh, it did increase. Cool. Much more glow now. Oh, you know what mod I meant to download? Is there's a mod for automatically opening and closing your gates. And I thought that would be a really cool thing, because I always forget, except for just now, but... All right, let's drop off these fish. And then... Oh, I ran out of space. Let's maybe get rid of the crab pot ones. Whoops, wrong, wrong one. And the row. We'll put those somewhere else for now. Then we might sell some of those fish. Where do I want to put these? I don't think I have enough resources to make another chest. So we're just going to temporarily put them in this guy. Where was I putting my artifacts? Would be this drawer. And then... Yeah, not the, not the best system, but we'll get it to work. Um... Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, more progress on my farm. I got a star drop from Penny because wife. Only need the legendary fist to get all four of them and added more crystallariums to my fairy dust factory. Nice. Uh, the mod that Ruby recommended. Yeah. I am I'm a little behind. You guys have been absolutely killing it in that mod recommendations channel. I think... Next week, uh, or I guess I should say this week. Uh, this week on Thursday, I might just do another community mod spotlight. I might focus on the dwarven ones first, because I know there was a large collection of dwarven ones. But then if we have time, we'll explore all the other ones as well. Yeah, I'm actually tempted to maybe download it after we sleep. Pet the kitty. Oh wait, let's sell some of the fish. Fishing. We'll keep a iridium carp for the luau, but then let's sell these other good quality fish. Rainbow trout are used for... Oh, is it like the fishing pond that they're nice in? Because you can get a prismatic shard. Is that what I'm remembering correctly? Bream. I want to make sure I still have one of everything at least. I might keep those rainbow trout for now. I think I have one of everything still. Sell these guys. I found it funny that despite me playing Stardew Valley since 1.3, I only got into portraits and sprites modding last week. I think the vanilla ones are so nice that it's easy to just stick with the vanilla ones, even if you're using like reshade mods or anything. I will say, the moment I saw DC Burgers high-res portraits, I loved it. I haven't really been using it in this playthrough, but I really love the art style on that one. Uh, let's go ahead and go to sleep. Got a good bit of money. It's a lucky day. That's nice. Oh. 
Yoria, I have good news for you. A few days ago, I made a breakthrough in my research on the local environment. I'll spare you the technical details to get to the point. You know the empty cave you have over the cliffs? Well, I have a way to turn it into something useful for both of us. I'd like to set up the cave to attract some local species. That way I can observe them in more controlled environment. And you can harvest whatever products they produce. I can either set up the cave to attract mushrooms or fruit bats. The bats will sometimes leave fruit for you to collect. I didn't make my choice up for this. The, the choice everyone always... Uh, conflicts with. I know they slowed the production of mushrooms to every other day, if I recall. I'm tempted to do fruit back because that one, that way I don't have to check on it every day or every other day. Uh, true, vanilla ones are amazing too. Kudos to Concerned Ape for it. He said that it, the art aspect minus the music were the hardest part of the game. I can believe that. I, after working on parts of this model and then trying and failing to make a 2D version of the model, I have nothing but appreciation for artists and they deserve all the money that they use, uh, uh, they charge for commissions. I always go mushroom, but honestly, Bat Cave isn't that bad either. And neither one of them are bad. It's just a matter of like community center versus like life potions, that kind of thing. I think I want to go with bats because I always pick mushrooms. So let's go with bats this time. All right, I'll set that up for you right now. It shouldn't take any time at all. Thanks for letting me do this. I think the bat cave is all the way at the bottom, I believe. Dear valued customer, thanks for visiting, visiting Pierre's. Enclosed is your cashback rewards program rebate. Wait, what? <laughs> See you soon, Pierre. Sorry for the stock message, Yoria. Enjoy. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that one. All right, let's water the crops and then we'll see if there's anything in the fruit bat cave right away. And then I do need to see Pierre today because I don't think I have any blueberries. Oh, no, wait, here, there was a blueberry right there. Uh, I think I want to get some more, though. I might be a little late in the season, but I don't think... I might have enough time. We'll just buy some seeds regardless and see what we need. I don't think I need a lot of blueberries. I just need the one. Let me look at my notes. Yeah, I think I just need one blueberry, which is why I bought it one. But I wouldn't mind having a little more. Um, yeah, I just need to buy some seeds in general. Still no rain. The game's like, you had too much rain in spring, you get no rain in the summer. Uh, you can purchase life elixirs and oil of garlic from the dwarf, energy tonic from Harvey. Good to know. Glad the hops are growing. I think... We were talking about this on Thursday, but I need to disable the resize of the trellises because it looks a little weird. Let's go open the gate. Pet some chickens. Also, bombs from the dwarf. Yeah, the bombs I wanna go to. Actually, I need to bring the cherry bomb that I have because I think you all. Oh, the luau began. Uh, I might. That goes till two, I think. Right. We might just stick here. On the farm for a little bit. Luau's at the beach, so as long as we avoid the beach, we should be okay. Um, is Pierre's going to be open? I don't actually know. 
let's go find out and see. I might bring my fishing pole. Actually, what did I need for a recycle bin? Iron, stone. Actually, I can do that now. So. Just build the one. And let's just put it on my little machine line that we got going for automate. And let's put this trash in there, this trash in there. We're keeping the colas for Sam. And then we've been keeping the glasses for Granny. This should be good. And I always forget to give Kitty water. Oh, the preserve jars. We never did that either. Um, we're just, we're gonna attach everything to this chest, I guess. Uh, why can't I put stuff there? We'll just do this. And then, what do I wanna put in there? We've been selling most of the crops. Uh, let's put some summer squash in there, actually. And let's just name this Automate for now. Eventually we'll be separating out all these machines, but this will this will do for now. And then we'll bring the rest of everything to town with us. I don't know if you have Dwarf open, but Cherry Bomb can unlock his room. Oh, that's thanks for reminding me. Uh I do have a cherry bomb. We're gonna We're gonna open his room today. Because I think... Oh, and then let's bring an Iridium Carp for the Luau. Look how Automates turns chests into CPUs. Yes, I love Automate. It really is a huge quality of life mod. Alright, let's figure out some stuff. Can you give things to people in the Luau? I don't think you can. But if we run into anyone today, we'll be giving some gifts away. Uh, first, let's go to Pierre's. Oh, it's closed for the Luau. Understandable. Alright, we'll give... Abigail some mayo to drink. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? It looks delicious. <laughs> Why? If I knew how to use a sword, I'd be exploring those caves by the mountain lake right now. Is Granny home? Let's give her some glasses. Oh, everything is locked. I think everything is locked for the luau. That's fine. Let's just drop some stuff off. Luau... Until two. I don't think we'll have time to go to the mines first, so let's just go with our carp. You can't give anyone a gift unless you're their secret Santa. Okay. Makes sense. I don't know if talking even counts for these, but I always talk to everyone. Let me drink some tea real quick. Me and Caroline would get on real great. I love tea. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. Talking does count. Okay, cool. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure to add it to the soup cauldron. Oh no, 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 no. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Not yet. Alright, talk to the mayor. Or governor, I should say. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. 
This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> oh, you stepped on my foot, dear. I will dance with you, Robin. She She's unresponsive. Emily is vibing. I'm bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. <laughs> I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. You're by an ocean. Just hop in it when you're done. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? Sebastian wearing normal clothes. <laughs> One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. Ever wondered why Sam leads the, <laughs> leads the town in community service hours? Wow. <laughs> Dynamic reflections. It always looks so good when the NPC is uh, being reflected, too. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Well, you could always hang out with Willie and watch the sea. It prevents decay. Good to know. You get half the points than talking normally, but it's something. Yeah. Hi there, Yoria. Taking a breather? To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. You could still be fishing right now. Hey, the wizard's here. I need to make a point to visit the wizard more often. The mer people are curious about your fest festivities. They become upset when you litter into the ocean. There's quite a bit of litter there. I catch it sometimes. Wow, you don't get hot pepper or chutney like this in the big city. These blasted sand flies keep landing on the food. Yeah, you gotta have like a netting around food. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? Hang out with people? <laughs> go swimming? Go fishing? We're at an ocean. I hope the soup is good this year. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. A free buffet, one of the perks of living here. Enjoy it, kid. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. I brought fish. Hopefully it goes good. You added carp to the soup. Good thing it came with sunscreen. Sunscreen is very important. Whenever Linus is roasting, smells awfully good. A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. That looks delicious. We do this festival every year and give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Governor, who cares? The bridge is down. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. How's the farming coming along? Must be a busy season for you. I woke up late, stepped out of the door, and found myself in the middle of all this hubbub. -hub. Forgot that today was the Luau. Oh yeah, the shop. Oh, there's only like decals. There's a star fruit. I don't think I need the star fruit for anything, do I? I don't think I need it for the community center or anything. Oh. Am I gonna regret not? I actually, can I F1 that? F1? Needed for the polyculture achievement. In the full shipment achievement. Oh, and it's needed for GMO huts. Yes, embrace the star fruit. I'm gonna get something and come back. Be right back. Okay. Maybe I'll just buy the star fruit. Because I can eventually get a seed maker, right? And just throw it in. I'm just gonna get it. We'll regret it later. All right. I think I talked to everyone. So let's move forward. And hopefully he likes iridium quality carp. <laughs> well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I meant to is a backup if you forgot something. Yeah. I trust that you will put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Well, Governor, would you do us the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Wait, he doesn't like it? It's actually kind of disgusting? Wait, does carp not taste good? Oh no! 
I didn't know carp was a bad choice. I figured since it was iridium, it would be fine. Maybe it's because it's an easy to catch fish? Huh. You learn something every day, I guess. The soup wasn't very good, but otherwise the luau was a success. That sucks. Oh, I keep meaning to reinstall the Firefly Torch mod as well. I'm a little disappointed by that. I guess I'll have to keep that in mind for next year's luau, though. I should have maybe put, like, a gold parsnip in there, maybe, instead? Alright, I don't think... Actually, let's chop down some trees, because I know I'm low on wood. Wait, a bandana shirt from a tree. The shirt with a bandana that keeps your neck very clean. Interesting. Not my favorite shirt, but we'll keep it on for a bit. Can I? Oh, I can do this. Get some hardwood. Probably our last tree, or I'll get exhausted. All right, so let's drop all of this off. I might put my shirt back on. It sounded weird. <laughs> and then we'll drop this shirt off. Let's see what's in the... Got some refined quartz. Nice, nice. Slowly collecting a lot of clothes. I don't think I had anything to sell. Yeah, I think I want to hold on to what I have. I might make some of this bug me um, bait real quick, actually. Here we go. Oh, actually, we can put that on our thing right now. Here we go. All right, I am... Oh, there'll be a thunderstorm tomorrow. Nice. It'll finally rain. Then that means we should... Do I have enough copper? Ooh. I do have enough copper, I think. It's under the automate one? No, the resources one. Yeah. So we'll be able to finally update our watering can. So we should talk to Clint today for sure. But I might go ahead and exit the game real quick. To download a couple of mods. So let me share Chrome with you guys in a second. If it'll load. Nexus is being stubborn, actually. Not sure why. Might have to actually hold off on the mod downloads. Nexus is not loading for, for me for some reason. Oh, there we go. Just took a minute. And then let's share my screen. This one? Yes. Okay, cool. So.
So the mods I wanted to re-download were the Firefly one. Is it going to be slow? Oh, we got it. All right. And then I want to download the Firefly Torch one. And then let's see, where was your guys' recommendation page? It was like the door for the barn automating, uh, closing and opening. Man, Nexus is struggling for me for some reason. Let's see, mod recommendations. How far up was it? Auto animal doors. Oh. Don't know what that is. Nexus might be struggling. So I will get this fixed in the background. Let me get some music going while I am. Worst case scenario, we have the firefly. Automatic animal doors. See if I can get Nexus to load. There we go. Uh, this one. I'm going to download this one as well. And then we'll get those installed. And then we'll get the game back going. And we'll go for... Probably one or two more days. Back, welcome back. We are downloading the Firefly Torch mod as well as uh, auto animal doors, and then we'll start the game back up. So let me go to my downloads folder and go to my mods folder. Get those extracted real quick. And put those in my playthrough one. Oh, actually, the Firefly Torch one I want in my content patcher. Cool. Should be good to go now. So let me get the game started back up. anyone else ever accidentally put in something they didn't realize would make the soup taste bad in the luau? Because I still find that fascinating. I think that's the first time I've ever gotten a bad luau result. All right, we are back. As soon as OBS recognizes the game is back. There we go. Thank you for this recommendation, by the way, because this is super convenient. All right, so we want to upgrade our watering can. I didn't, but me and my buddies didn't know that all three of us needed to put an item in. Oh, yeah, I've never played multiplayer, so I'm not sure. Oh, I didn't know about that either. Greetings, Yuria. It's a pleasure to inform you that your farm will be featured in next week's up-and-coming column of Stardew Valley's Tribune. Congratulations, we're interested in your quick progress. Ooh, we got some tomatoes. Oh, we might level our farming. Which I think that means when we rest tonight, we'll finally get the quality sprinkler. Which will be nice. Uh, okay, so we want to visit Piers for berries, which I think I'll focus on blueberries, maybe? And then... 
Um, let's bring the one tomato with us for the community center. And then we've already given the hot peppers to the community center, so we could sell these if we want. Might bring them with me to Pierre's. And then we needed hops for the community center, I believe. I don't know how many hops. I think I needed five, so I might leave them behind for now. And then... I think we'll go with this. So I'll, we'll sell these to Pierre, buy some more seeds. We'll go to Clint's and upgrade our watering can. So let's water our crops and get this upgraded. Even though we're going to get quality sprinklers, I guess. So maybe a little too late on that one, actually, but we'll still upgrade it anyway. Mm, or should I? Yeah, I think we'll still upgrade it. Because we have the current farm that, um, I don't really want to destroy any crops right now, so. And we'll just water everything in anticipation of planting more seeds. Forget how many days I need for blueberries to grow, so I don't know if those will be a good crop or not. I know I have two blueberry bushes, so we should be okay for the community center. I'm glad it'll finally be raining tomorrow. Okay, let's go. And it looks like that automatic animal doors worked right away because I know I had closed it the night before. So that's super convenient. And then drop off these eggs. Pick up the mayo that's in here. And then let's also go to the wizard and visit the traveling merchant. I don't think I'll buy anything from the traveling merchant, but it's an unlucky day. So not a good day for the mines. So maybe we'll fish again today. We'll fish at the ocean. All right, let's... I don't know if this needs to be full when I deliver it to Clint, so... Go to Pierre's first, then Clint's, then the traveling merchant, and then go to the ocean. We'll kind of be a little everywhere tonight. The monsters known as Dust Sprite are throwing the elemental balance into disarray. I would like the adventurer to enter the mines and slay 20 of them. Oh, that's a big reward. It's an unlucky day, though. I don't know if we're going to get a lot of spawns. But we can maybe pivot instead of fishing, go into the mines and try to do that quest. Um, sell these. 13 days to mature, so definitely not that. You know, there used to be a website... I'll see if I can find it again. And I did a feature on this, I think probably two years ago at this point. Um, Stardew Valley Crops Profit. Yeah, Stardew Profits. I don't know if this is updated for 1.6. Um, but let me share my screen. Wrong screen. There we go. I don't know if this still is accurate or not, but it's summer. 
It is year uh, summer day 12. Uh, raw. Only from Pierre right now. And then pay for the seeds. I think this is it. Uh, looks like melon would be our most profitable. So we can do that. Though I do need more hops. Uh, for the community center, so maybe I'll buy hops instead, actually. Let's buy, like, five. I think that's how many spaces I have open. 10,000, huh? I think I only needed 3,000 for the watering can. Dust sprites are hopping dark blue orbs found in the cold mine levels. Yeah, I think that's the mine levels I just got out of, so should be good to go. Lewis, you like mayo? I wonder if anyone's birthday today. I'd better check the calendar at Pierre's shop. Uh, oops, my bad. Let me switch back. Do you like my bow? Yes, it's very cute. Let's give you a daffodil. I love presents, thank you. Upgrade. Oh, I only needed 2,000, nice. Let's do, it's definitely gonna rain tomorrow. We watered our crops, I think we're good. Okay. Whoa. What the heck was this? I have no idea what just happened. Catalog trash decoration. Access a free supply of trash decoration. Wash your hands after use. I've never seen this before. All right, let's go. <laughs> Let's go back to the farm. Uh, Sam, I have Joja Cola. Yeah. Thanks, I really like this. One of the five new catalogs. I did not even realize there was new catalogs. All right, let's talk to the traveling merchant and visit the wizard. Give him a potato. Rhubarb. The spring seed. Um... I'm, I'm not ready to be buying rare seeds yet, so we'll ignore that. Many thanks. This item has some very interesting properties. I believe the townsfolk are afraid of me. It's unfortunate, but I suppose it's humans to be afraid of the unknown. Maybe if you hung out with people at the luau instead of standing at the end of the dock. People will get to know you better. <laughs> I think Abigail would love you. We all know the maybe backstory behind that. I don't know if that was ever confirmed or not. All right, so let's uh, give Marnie some mayo if she likes it, because I never see Marnie ever. <laughs> yeah, you like mayo. Animals are great company, but you need to spend time with them, uh, people, too. Okay, how many... How much is chickens? 
kind of wouldn't mind having another chicken. Because the mayo is such a great gift. Or I could start selling the mayo too. Oh, it wasn't confirmed? Yeah. I didn't think it was. He just mentions that he suspects it, right? I think. Do I want another chicken? Yes. <laughs> Cacabella. I love it. I think that's the max capacity for that coop now. Um, but we still don't even have a barn, so we'll plant these and then maybe go try and kill some dust sprites. Even though it's an unlucky day. Oh, wait, we never checked on the... We never checked on the cave. Might clear some of this area, too, actually. So nothing yet. There we go. Got some of that area cleared. Let's plant these hops, even though it's going to be annoying a little bit. Oh, I thought I had more spaces left. Corn. Yeah, we'll just plant the one hops then. Uh, I'm curious about this trash catalog. I'm just gonna set it down real quick. <laughs> Plastic lawn chair. Moldy couch, broken television, buried tire, plastic bag, plastic lawn end table, tire, aluminum can. Oh my gosh. What an array of stuff. The plastic lawn chair is not terrible, though. He suspects someone is his child, and Caroline says she used to take walks near his tower and is also his wife. And also his wife is mad at him. Yeah, yeah. The drama. All right, so I'm going to leave this in here for now. Oh, we never did drop off that tomato for the community center, but that's fine. And then we wanted to maybe go to the mines and kill some sprites. So let's bring all of that. I think I left the cherry bomb in town. So, we might just go with this. Did I have food? I might eat a baked fish before we go. And I'm going to bring the cave carrots to consume. There we go. And then we should be good to go. And then dust, fairy dust. I was hoping you could do dust sprites here. That's fine. I was gonna see if it told me what mine levels it was. I know it's the cold ones, but I forget what levels those are exactly. Drop off the tomato here, pick up the cherry bombs. We can go meet the dwarf for the first time. I don't have all the scrolls yet, so we won't be able to actually talk to him, but... Oh, Robin. I uh, have mayo. Should be... Able. I don't know if we'll be able to get 20 sprites, but hopefully we'll be able to get a decent number. Nice. 
nice. And then he likes cave carrots, right? All right, cool. Oh yeah, I can't use the... Can't get access to my chest in the caves. I always forget. Uh, if I ever guess, it starts at like 45. I don't hear them. I know on unlucky days though, it's a bit more rough to get monster. I hear one. Actually, this is just a monster level in general. Ooh. There we go. Oh, we got a forest sword. Kind of lucked out with the um, monster level right away. Oh, come on. There we go. Where is... Hopefully we can find more on this level. I might just run past this guy. up in the back here so so we got 15 doing a lot better than I thought we would but let's see if there's any more Go ahead and kill the slimes. Right, it's frozen geode. There we go. This is much easier than I thought, actually. One short. Hopefully there's another one on this level. Yeah, there's some of this ore after all. I was going to skip it, but might as well. Here we go. Nice, that's exactly what we needed. What did he drop? Ghost fish? Nice. bed over here. Um, we don't need to keep farming them. Talk to the wizard. It's gonna be too late to talk to the wizard now. Can't wait to unlock the minecart. Let's see, do I want to drop off anything? We did get that sword. Got more Tundra Boots. I think the rest of this we'll keep for now. And then we'll head on home.
Oh, I should have left my cherry bomb there, actually. Automate. Okay, can just leave those there. Forgeables. Fish. And then where was I doing these? Yeah. Might leave this here. There we go. Level six farming finally got the quality sprinkler and a cheese press. So that's nice. I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought you could use it. Energy tonic. Nice. Lots of stuff ready for harvesting. I think the hops would grow in time of the hop seeds we got. 11 days. It would just like barely do it. Don't have to water anything today, so that's super nice. Um. I've been quiet for too long, therefore I will say the following. H quality. All right, so Alex's birthday. Oh, wait, it's raining. We should focus on the fish that we needed for the community center. Where is my... What did I need? I needed... Red snapper, and that's in the ocean. So we'll be going to the ocean today. So bring those and hopefully we can get an ocean jelly. Now that I know I need jellies for that smoker. All right, let's see. I think that's all I want to bring. What is Alex's loved or liked gifts? I don't have anything he loves. He likes mayo though, so we'll give him some mayo after we go pet our chickens. Oh wait, they don't have enough hay in here. Let me fix that. Don't eat it. There we go. Pet the chickens. Drop this off. And we'll go find Alex. There we go. Jellies are supposed to be rare, but they're really not actually, so I don't think you should worry about the, too much about them. Oh, that's good to know. Because, yeah, I've gotten two of the river ones. Mm 
Let's see, where is Alex? Is he home? But it might be too early to visit him. Um, maybe let's drop some stuff at the community center. I should have brought the melon with me. We can just bring these for now. How many time do those spring seeds need? Or summer seeds? Harvest after seven days. So, we might make some quality sprinklers and have those water the summer seeds. Oh, wow, there's some sweet peas over here. Any other forageable? No, we're good. The one that took me a while was the cave jelly. But had two bad luck days that might have been part of it. Yeah, bad luck days, I think, just kind of affect a lot of stuff in the game. All right, let's do... Tomato. Oh, wait, the summer squash. I should have brought that with me, too. That's fine. We'll leave this stuff here in town for now. While we go find Alex. And then actually, let's bring some glasses with us for Granny. Did you give Gunther the ancient seed? I did not. I don't think I have it on me either. I think I left it back at the farm. I also had a problem with cave jelly, and that's because I don't usually fish in the mines. Yeah, I don't fish in the mines unless I'm purposely looking for something. So you liked mayo, so happy birthday. You remembered my birthday? I'm impressed. Thanks. This could, uh, this is not good weather for sports. Oh, well, I can always lift weights inside. And then our main man also likes mayo. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. And then, Granny, found your glasses. When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Gotta get that fixed. In the old days, George would have scampered right up and fixed it. You got Alex. Teach, teach him some skills, some life skills. Oh. Apparently we got enough hearts with Alex to get a, a cutscene. That's a good boy, Dusty. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Oh. I like how I was creepily stalking him in the bushes. Gloria, did you overhear me talking? Should I lie? Not really. Um... We'll just be honest. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter, because he wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what's going on in his mind. One day he left and soon after that my mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. That's rough. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Yuria. I don't want any sympathy. If there is one good thing about my past, it's that it's made me strong. That's true. Now let me show you what Dusty will do for a <laughs> barbecued steak. Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. I bet. So, let's go to the ocean. Oh. 
We got a couple of artifacts here. Actually, we got a lot of forageables too. What is this? Palm fossil. Let's get these all collected. Oh, I forgot about this guy. I don't want to marry anyone. Or, uh, is it Mary? I forget. I've got this amulet to sell, but something tells me you're not ready for it, miss. Yeah, you gotta buy a bouquet and then see him. So many forageables. We'll leave those here. Why is the water, like, green? This is a little strange. I don't remember it being green. Uh, and then let's get this artifact. Lost book. You found a lost book. The library's collection has expanded. And then I'm not good enough friends with Elliot yet. The mermaid pendant allows you to marry? Yeah. Um, do you like mayo? Yeah. The local fishing scene got a bit more lively. I might expand my shop stock. Nice. Tempted to, like, buy a crab pot at some point, too. Iridium rod, we're nowhere near enough money for that. And then, what was I after? Red snapper? Yeah. So, let's go fishing. Um, let's go to the rock. Do I even see red snapper in here? Water is such a weird color, I can't tell. Red mullet. Get some music going after this fish, too. Wait for it to be a bit more. There we go. Wrong way. Hopefully I can get a red snapper. I didn't see if it was on all day thing or not. Oh, there we go. Plenty now. Tuna. Which I know I also needed for the community center. I had one, I just didn't bring it with me. Oh! Sea jelly! Nice. So we just need the cave jelly now. And then 10,000 gold. <laughs> yeah, like they're rare, but... 
can't be too rare. A step forward is a step forward, exactly. My idea of rare is dragon tooth rare. Yeah. There's like a weird um, bug going on with the visible fish where there's just a bunch on the end. I never noticed that before. to sell some fish to Willy before his shop closes. I think that's at five. Ooh, a treasure chest. No. Oh. I need to drop off some of these uh, artifacts to the museum. I'm sitting on a couple, and I think I've only donated a couple. Oops. Lightning rods. I don't know if I can make lightning rods yet. I just realized it was thunderstorming and it would have been a good day for that. Let me look at my... Ooh, emerald. Diamond. Wow. Lightning rod. Yeah, I don't think I have the recipe for it yet. I'll rely on your foraging. That makes sense, actually. Whoops. Speaking of foraging, though... We can plant some of those summer seeds. Oh, I was gonna sell the... him, but I don't think I'll make it in time. That's fine. I might go back because I kind of want to plant some of those summer seeds. Uh, let's see. I can't carry everything with me. We'll leave the rest behind for now. Actually, we'll do that. Go back to the farm real quick. I am gonna leave the fossils here. And the minerals. Should be good to go from there. And I might leave the frozen geodes here too, actually. Take the summer seeds. Take the... Hot peppers. Actually, I'll leave some gold ones for people. Take the trash. Let's go to the community center and then we'll head back to the farm to plant some summer seeds. And that should help with our foraging. Because I think it still counts for foraging when you... Oh, I never talked to the wizard. Uh, we have to do that. Oh, no. Is it too late to do that? Okay. Hmm. It might be too late. I don't know if he'll let me in. Let's just immediately go. I 
go this way. Probably would have been shorter to go the other way, but... I don't know if his doors close at 6 or if it closes at 9. But we're going to hope he lets us into his wizard tower. Bring him a potato, just in case, too. Yes! Okay, cool. So talk to the wizard. The elementals are pleased with the job you did. Here's a payment as promised. Nice. That was a nice easy one. And then have a potato. No. Oh, already gave him two potatoes. Okay, cool. Uh, now we'll head back to the farm. We'll do- we'll drop off stuff at the community center a different day. That was a clutch and a half, yeah. I can't believe I forgot about that almost, because 1200 gold's quite a lot for me right now, so... That would have really sucked. Alright, where is a good spot to put some summer seeds? Is this blue grass? It is. I'll drop that stuff off for now. Let's clear this area. Oops. And then we'll... Actually, what do I need to make a quality sprinkler? Iron, gold, and refined quartz. I actually don't have a lot of gold. But I do have one in here. this. I can only make one. Hopefully we'll get some more gold soon, but we'll plant some summer seeds here. Uh, what level do you get more gold at? I forget. 1200 gold for some commonly spawning Emilies is definitely a lucky strike. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I don't have enough gold for another one. Kind of want to plant more, though. Um, So what I might do... Just make another row. Like this. we go. 80 and 83 are the best levels to farm gold. You can go from 80 to 83 and loop back with the elevator. Okay, good to know. Uh, 
All right, we should get our copper watering can back tomorrow, which will help water a lot of this. What do we want to do? How many melons do they need? Or summer squash, I should say. Just the one for the community center. So we can sell this other one. No one loves it either, so we can just get sell those. We don't need this many hot peppers, so we'll sell those. Don't need this many summer squash in here, so we'll sell those. I think we could probably call it a night. Actually, we might chop down like one more tree. And then this next day probably will be our last day for today's stream. <laughs> got pancakes on the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouthwatering recipe for my secret cookbook with this week's dish, pancakes. Sometimes I get carried away with fancy, complicated dishes, but there's something comforting about a simple pancake. You want plenty of butter and maple syrup to slather over these warm stacks. You learned how to cook pancakes. I need to upgrade my house soon so I can actually start cooking. Hey kid, my throat's about as dry as a desert bone. I'm real thirsty for pale ale. You got one? Regular old beer won't do. I need pale ale. Uh, I need to put hops in a keg, which I don't have that machine yet. Cheese press. I don't even have uh, cows yet. I really do. I really do need to start be making some money. Um, I could make a bee house. All right, we got to go to Clint before we can water our crops. Uh, I'd say, yeah, let's do the mines today. Maybe farm some gold. I think I'm close to 80. We'll leave this stuff behind. Grab this. We'll bring this energy tonic with us. Oh my gosh. Maybe not. Maybe I'll save the energy to tonic for... Much later. And then... Let's bring... These with us. And we'll pet our chickens after we pick up the... Uh, watering can from Clint. And then... So we'll go to Clint, run back to the farm, and then we'll be good for the mines after that. Might drop off these to the museum while we're by Clint's. I will love you forever if you bring me carp, Haley. I don't think I have any carp on me. Oh, what is that? Parsnip soup. Nice. We'll bring that with us to the mines. Oh, it's locked. Oh, it would be locked. Uh, 
I'll just walk around for a bit. There's stuff back here, if I recall. How do I get in it, though? Oh, there we go. I can't open this, so whatever it is, it's for later. Carp is one of the easiest fish. Yeah, that's probably why it didn't do well in the soup. Let's donate. Um, let's put the fossil in the middle. And let's put the rocks down here. And then what rewards? Melon. Takes 12 days. How many days are in a calendar? We could plant the melon. We'll leave it here for now, though. Uh, nine. Not too much longer. Should have brought my fishing pole. We could have been fishing this entire time. Actually, we are going back to the farm, so let me... Open a geo too while we're at Clint's. There we go. Process Frozen Tear and a rock. I think the frozen tier I need to drop off at Gunther still. So let's just hop back in. And then let's go water our crops. And then we'll head to the mines. Oh, someone's calling us. It's around this time of year that my good friends visit the region, I mean the parrots. The phone, I always forget about it until until someone calls us. It is a really cool uh, mod. I really that I really like that one. Anything else we want to bring? Squirrel. All right, so let's see how much easier this is now. She didn't have to hold down the button as long. Definitely a lot nicer, though. Kind of doing this very inefficiently. A scythe. Then let's plant one of these melons. Should be enough time. Whoops, 
Did not mean to do that. A chicken escaped me. There it is. We finally got the blueberries for the community center too. I found two mods that I've been looking for for actual days now. Which mods were they? everything watered with our new watering can. I think this is more or less what I want to bring to the mines. Or share them in the server in just a minute. Cool, thank you. Oh, I am dropping frames. Why? Let's turn it down a little bit. Hopefully that helps. You'll have to let me know if the stream is looking okay, because I got a notification I have some drop frames. Not sure why. Stream's looking good on your end. That's good. I did lower the... Uh, how much I'm uploading. Just, just in case. Drop those off and then we'll head down. And actually, we have some stuff here to sell, so maybe we'll do that real quick instead. One-fifth of the dust sprite thing. Not that I want to fi farm the dust sprites, but it is a cool ring they give, if I recall. Let's see, what level did I leave off at? 70? So maybe we'll try to get as far as we can today to get to the 80s to get that gold. <laughs> Just use this cherry bomb right here. Aquamarine, nice. just focus is getting as far down as we can today because I'm kind of swimming in iron so I don't necessarily need a ton of iron
I love the track that's playing right now. Mine's cloth is really bittersweet, which is really special looking at the rest of the mine's track. Most of them are either calm or funky. None gives this bittersweet tone other than it. Yeah. I do like how different parts of the mine just look completely and totally different from each other. Let's eat this soup we got. Omni Geode, nice. Dust sprites. Oh, I see a ladder too, which is nice. I think we might be able to get to 80. Oh, I didn't know they fling bones at you. Be at 80. I need to eat though. Whoops. Come on, ghosty. There we go. Skeletons will rip out a rib of their own and just for you to dodge. Yeah, that's that'd be frightening. Imagine just moving from a corporate job, starting your own farm, and then you go into these mines and you just see walking skeletons. It'd be crazy. All right, do I have enough room for this stuff? Yeah. Firewalker boots. Ooh, that's much better than what I have right now. Okay, let's go back up real quick. I'm gonna drop off some stuff. And then we'll see if we can get a couple gold before we call it a night. So we'll drop off this. Um, okay, and let's go back in. We'll see if we can get a couple gold for another quality sprinkler tonight before it gets too late. Ooh. Rough. Alright. Oh, there's a diamond. behind me. There we go. 
I got a new idea to sleep on. I think I leveled up in combat. Oh no! Do we need to go to bed? Let's see if we can get any gold before we go. Don't think so. There's a chest right here though. God, these things are rough. There we go. There's one. I think that's enough for another ore. Oh, there's a ruby down here. I want to grab that and then we'll go to bed. Tempted to sell the diamond. Uh, okay. What do we want to grab? Let's just grab everything we can, which isn't going to be a lot. Actually, I want to bring these back. You need refined quartz. I have some refined quartz from the recycler. It was just gold I needed, so put those in. Yeah, I have eight, so gold's my blocker right now. Oh, looks like we have some of our pickled summer squash ready. I might throw that in there. And then yeah, we have quite a bit of stuff. Did I want to sell anything? Does it sell for seven fifty or fifteen hundred? I don't know what mods like showing the price. Oh, it's fifteen hundred because I have two. I don't want to sell both of them. Might just keep them for now. Yeah, I think we'll just call it a night. Ooh, I get to pick. Um, critical strike chance increased by 50% or all attacks deal 10% more damage. I think fighter, because I'm, I kind of just swing mindlessly, right? I just got the smoked bream that I needed. And yeah, that thing actually, that thing is actually smoking. Like its portrait will give off smoking particles in your inventory. Oh, wow. That's the cool effect. Scout and then Desperado. What's Desperado? I don't know if I've ever gotten level 10 fighting. Can I F1 these? No. But yeah, I'd be curious what Desperado does. Maybe I'll throw up the wiki real quick. Desperado. Allows your crit strikes to insta-kill. Combat is associated with fighting monsters. Can you crit on a sword? Oh yeah, we can go with Desperado. Oh, okay. Yeah, we can do Scout. And I think, though, that's everything I have time for this morning. 
So I'll be streaming tomorrow, probably later in the evening, like 6 p.m. Central, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern again. Uh, and that'll probably be what it's like on the weekdays until I am past the construction that's going on at my home. But I hope that everyone has a good rest of your weekend and I hope to see you guys soon. And then we'll plan for another community spotlight, uh, like part two, on Thursday's stream probably. But I hope everyone has a good rest of your day, a great weekend, and I'll 